Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I wanted to go over with you guys tonight talking about the brilliant thing that EA did because I think it's important that even when EA do a lot of things that aren't good, it's important to point out some of the really, really good things or promising things they do uh, for the future. So first of all, in the comments down below, let me know uh, if you guys are grinding either of the Odegaard or the Daniel James objectives. I'm very curious to know. From the viewers, which ones are you guys going for? Which ones aren't you guys going for? Just to give you guys a little bit of an update, uh, we have to get all the wins now for this. So I'm kind of trying to do this with icon swaps as well. And for swaps, today I guess my stream convinced me that I'm going to be taking the mid-icon pack. It's awful value, but I've got to get one more online one and then I've got to get three offline ones done. And I'm going to do Daniel James, guys, with the offline ones. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to talk about that right now. So I'm going to do these kind of 12 games I have left I already did like three on squad battles and then I'm gonna do this with a friend where I'm gonna cut with the starting lineup one I'm good you could do this in online friendly so you could have a guy boost with you and do that really easily so that's very easy to do you just gotta find a friend to invite you to that but overall this is like a really really cool concept now I think the thing that I don't love about this still is that like you don't have the card the whole time and it upgrades I know you have to kind of keep using the new card and you have to submit it I don't know if EA have the technology to do something else other than that yet is kind of what I'm assuming at this point but this is really, really good from EA because this is a card that on the market, in my opinion, would be at least like 250K. Just knowing how this market works right now and the prices of these cards, guys, you have to be real with yourselves. Martinelli at a 90 rated card is 550K and he's three star, three star. This is a four star, four star card with just some insane stats. I might be undershooting it at 250. I mean, looking at the prices of some of these cards, like Mount, it might be at least 300, 350, 400. So this on the market would be very expensive. And honestly, dudes, it's kind of a bet. I think it's comparable, if not better than Odegaard. Obviously, positionally, it's a little bit different. So this is really good from EA. Now, EA have put this all in squad battles, which is kind of boring, but you don't have to deal with things like sweaty rivals players. They didn't throw it in there. And I think if we can get some things like this on the weekly for the rest of the year, and then next year, we have other modes where these objectives are going into, other than the rivals competitive mode, then FIFA will be such a successful game long term, um, as long as the servers and things like that get continued to be upgraded, because this is so promising, man, um, for real. So what you have to do for this card today, guys, is you basically have to play like 12, to, I think it's like 15 games total. Um, you're going to have to kind of keep upgrading the card. Same thing with Odegaard Objective. You have to score a volley using 80 overall Future Stars Academy James and squad battles on semi-pro. Once you do these two, you're, you can also do the chip shot with him in that same game. Then you have to score a low driven shot in four games um, with that 80. Then you get the 82. And then for the 82, you have to assist the five goals um, with the cross. You have to score two goals in two separate wins. You have to score an assist in eight separate wins. So that's like the big one. Then you have to get the eight wins. So like, for example, for me, guys, I have already completed um, these three, right? And I was able to do that in one game. So I still have two games left for to get the 80. Then once I get the 80, um, I've got to win four games. So that's six games. And then I've got eight games after that. So I've got 14 games left of squad battles. And then I've got to do the 15 online swaps. But if you do on average of what squad battles takes you to play per game it's probably like 12 minutes so really guys you could get four to five done an hour so this is like a, a card that you can get in three to three and a half hours and for people that love a grind and for people that i mean I, I think it's pretty crazy good value and if they continue to do stuff like this this is a huge hit in my opinion because you can at the same time do other things like icon swap objectives season objectives and not only that it leads to maybe you getting some icons it also leads to like squad battle rewards, like people are literally going to get elite three, elite two rewards this week. You're going to get 50k, 60k with this card. So I really like this concept and I'm and I'm hoping that EA does more objectives like these that are these upgradable cards kind of concept that are also not uh, only in division rivals. I, I hope so because it just gives a lot more versatility to the game and I hope they kind of realize that this is a concept that's like really unique. Um, that they could execute more often. I really think they could do this more often. I just think, I think EA gets so in their heads at times about like what to do and what not to do um, and kind of being so corporate and worrying about it that they don't realize that this could be a really good thing going forward if they execute it properly. Now, if you look at this car, guys, four-star, four-star, high, medium work rates, he's got insane pace, insane agility, insane balance, really, really good overall stats, man. The finishing is okay, but I mean, it's the only things that are bad is the composure and the reactions. You got to use a sniper on him. But I, for me, guys, this is like some really crazy value that you're going to be able to get this card just through a squad battles grind. It's a really, really damn good card. So I, I got to say, this is like the first time I ever really making a video saying like GG to EA, man. This is some, finally, we got some really good usable 
um, content that people are going to want to grind for. And, and and you can see it, man. People all over Twitter are doing this card today. And I, I've compared this guy to Sterling and Mars. And, dude, it's a really good card. Like, he's way better than Gold Sterling. Um, I know people are comparing him to Gold Sterling. He is better. I just looked at it. He's got a lot better statistics and a lot of important stats. Um, I think it's a really good looking card. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to get this grind going with this card. And I think... I think the only thing that I'm, I'm left a little bit confused about, guys, um, you know, while we're hearing on this topic is I'm not really understanding, like, what all this is. I'm not understanding, like, why EA keeps dropping this SBC. Is this so, like, if you don't like him, you submit him? Because for a 50k pack at 800 coins, that just doesn't seem worth it to me. I think in the future, I guess they do know what they're doing because they've done it twice now. I, I kind of hope that they do, like, 80, 84... I, I hope in the future, I guess, that they kind of like just do the 80, 84, and 85. If you want to submit that, you get a 50K, but not the best version. But what I recommend you guys doing overall is when you get these cards, um, definitely when you get these cards, ladies and gentlemen, like for example, Odegaard, keep these for SBC fodder. If we keep getting stuff like this in the future, keep them for SBC fodder. It's an 84 and an 85 that can go into SBCs. With Daniel James, it's obviously a little bit less. It's only an 80 and 82, but if I were you guys... 100% keep them for SPC fodder down the line. It will help you a lot. Um, and so that's what I recommend. So yeah, overall, guys, EA have killed it today. I'm very impressed with them with this. I would love to see more of this. And I think what's also something that's really cool is that we've got two objectives in a week, which is nuts. I, I That surprises me a lot. So hopefully we get some more of this Daniel James. This Odegaard is way too hard to obtain. Way too hard. Uh, but hopefully more of this Daniel James will be really, really promising for the future of foot. Now, guys, what I'm going to do in this video as well um, I know a lot of you guys want to know in terms of the squad battles and, and how you have to do it on world class. I'm going to include a part in this video and show you guys exactly how you can beat the squad battles every time, whether that helps you for icon swap single player or that helps you for any of the future objectives. I want to kind of show you guys that in this video so you guys can see exactly how to do it. I'm going to walk you guys through it, show you the things that you need to do in order for the glitch to be successful. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you guys enjoy the video, if any part of this video helps you today, drop a thumbs up as well. I'm going to get that going for you guys now. Enjoy it. Thanks, boys. Yo guys, so as I told you guys in the video before, um, I wanted to show everybody kind of how to do this. Now, I don't know if this works on Xbox. I know it definitely works on PlayStation, but for all you guys grinding icon swaps, for all you guys grinding objectives, things like that, this is going to change uh, your, I guess, your account experience because you're not going to have to sweat squad battle games anymore. And I just kind of wanted to go over a little tutorial with you guys. I don't actually have my live controller hooked up, so I'm just going to walk you guys through it. I, I, I have it, but... The wiring is crazy for it. Um, so this is in order to... This is to help you guys beat uh, the higher difficulties. If you're a player that struggles to beat them, I understand. This is to help you guys beat them. So you are going to have to score. Um, you're going to have to find a way to score. You, there's no way I can give you guys a glitch to score. But once you guys do score, as you guys see, I have been editing a video um, during this game. The only thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do this glitch twice in one game. Because you're going to have to do it at halftime. Um, and you're going to have to do it before half and in the second half. You're going to have to do it twice, obviously, because there's the intermission break. So what you guys are going to do, and this is to keep any lead on any squad battle games. So for the Daniel James objective, obviously, you guys need to win the game. Uh, and for a lot of the icon swaps, you have to win on legendary. So what you guys are going to do, and this is how I find it best for me. I know there's a million working glitches right now. There's a ton of things that people say. Uh, excuse me. This is not supposed to be a part of the glitch, guys. Okay, now we're going to do the glitch. So, what you guys are going to want to do, and this is in my experience what works for me. You're going to want to kind of get up the pitch a little bit. Some people say you have to be in the 18-yard box. You just simply don't have to. You want to make sure that they're not really pressing you too hard. And you want to make sure that everybody is behind the fullback who has the ball. So, as you guys can see there, I did two shot fakes. Okay, so you're going to do a shot fake to stop. And then once you stop, you're going to do another shot fake. And you guys could see that nobody was behind Tagliafico there. So, the defense is not going to react to that. And this is literally, like, you can put the controller down and do nothing. I'm not clicking any buttons, and you can literally just run the game out. I like to say you should use your fullbacks, and you should be across half field. You should be in the opponent's half. You don't have to be right here. You could be closer to the halfway line. And then I'll show you guys just to kind of do it on the other side, kind of how I would do it. As you guys can see, we're, we are getting pressured here, so the idea is that you don't want to get pressed. But there's the double shot fake, and we created the space away from the player. We do have a couple players behind the ball. But as you guys can see, the only time this gets a little annoying is once in a while. During, like, if they're really pressing, uh, there will be a scenario where sometimes they will take the ball from you. But for the most part, they're not going to take the ball from you. And I just want to run this out. It's obviously the 80th minute. And this is on Legendary. So this is against the Legendary uh, Squad Battles difficulty. And 
I just felt like this might help some of you guys tonight. I don't know if everybody knows exactly how to beat the AI on Legendary. I know that there's videos and people talk about doing the glitch, but I get asked all my time in my videos and in my Twitch chats, Nick, how do you beat the glitch or how do you do the glitch? Because I'm not a great FIFA player um, and I can't beat Legendary. Because for all these objectives, EA have said, hey, you got to do Legendary. Now, some of the Daniel James ones are not Legendary, but I'm talking, this is for you guys to use on any level and I want to make it Legendary. So if you're doing icon swaps, because there are two of the offlines that need icon swaps if you guys are doing that then you have the ability obviously uh to do this and obviously this is with um a doesn't have you don't have to have good players this is with my argentina team right now i'm uh i'm almost done getting my argentina swaps so i'm doing it with essentially a nobody team um so there's nothing specific guys in terms of players you need there's nothing you have to do i just like to get across the halfway line i like to get the ball to my attackers and then play it back to the fullback so the fullback has a little bit of space creation against the winger and then as you guys can see literally there is no movement from the opponent um he's moving around but they just don't take the ball and i don't know if this works on xbox um but this is a playstation thing so this is what works for me this is how i do it um and i had learned this a couple weeks ago through somebody in my stream who told me how to do this um they said go to the half field shot fake twice you're going to shot fake the stop and then you're going to do it one more time and it looks like everything stops so as you guys can see we're going into stoppage time here plus two and as i've been speaking for the last 15 fifa minutes nothing has happened which is what you want right you want to have the lead and nothing has happened and then usually around this time we can kind of say hey the game's almost over we're going to just kind of collect our win and that's how we'll do it and this is a really good way where if you want to get up you want to get some food you want to go for a walk you want to do a workout and check your console every seven minutes you know if you're doing a lift or something at a home gym or whatever you're doing man this is something that you can really burn through squad battle games really quickly because you don't really need to spend the time playing them you just need to have your console on and running so as you guys can see there's no there's no fakeness here we won the game we got 2,000 points um we got all that and just to confirm with you guys so you guys can all see that it is real um when you guys go ahead into the menus four to one we won on legendary and if you go to the foot central um obviously right here we have actually unlocked uh future stars james right we assisted three goals using premier league players and now we have to use him uh obviously to upgrade him we've got to do some other squad battle things um as well and then guys before this game i was on four out of six for the single player swaps and now i'm on five out of six so everything works just want to prove that to you guys um hopefully it helped you guys if you did drop a thumbs up if it did drop a thumbs up and uh if the video helps you guys man and you think your friends want to know how to do this tell your friends hey go watch this video uh supports me and uh obviously it is really helpful because it's going to save a lot of you guys a lot of time so thanks for watching boys that's the video for tonight and uh, i'll see you guys in an upload tomorrow morning Bye bye